Today I will show you how to clean and descale your tankless water heater in easy to follow steps. Hopefully this prevents you from calling the plumber and saves you money. Descaling your tankless water heater is something that you should do on a yearly basis and it's really going to keep your unit running error free. To flush out my tankless water heater, I bought a kit that has everything I need. The kit includes the pump, the hoses, and a biodegradable descaler. The kit comes with everything I need and it was shipped to me instead of me looking for individual components. I will leave a link to the descaler kit and everything else I use in the description. So here we can see the biodegradable descaler. You can use vinegar if you don't have one of these. The kit just comes with this, so that's what I'm gonna use. And the first thing you wanna do is you wanna unplug your tank from the power source and make sure you have no power. Next, we will turn off the yellow isolation valves. This feeds the tankless water heater and also dispenses the hot water to your house. So turn off the hot service valve and then turn off the cold service valve. With the service valves turned off, remove the valve caps, making sure the service valves are turned off. So at this point, all the valves are turned off and you have removed your valve covers. Now we're gonna use this cold water hose that I just connected and we're gonna use this to fill this bucket. We do this by turning on this blue service valve like I just did here. And then on the isolation valve, which is the yellow one here, I'm gonna open it a little bit. This is gonna force some water out of this hose and we're gonna fill the bucket about three quarters of the way up. There might be a lot of pressure from the water, so be careful and hold Hold the hose in place with the other hand. Once the bucket is filled about three quarters of the way up, add your descaler or vinegar. I added the biodegradable descaler that came with the kit and I will add the whole thing to the five gallon bucket. Next, go ahead and submerge the pump into the bucket. If you're using vinegar, you want to use about two gallons of vinegar per five gallon bucket. Okay, so now I'm going to connect the hot water hose to the service valve, the hot service valve. And the other end of this hose is just gonna be left inside the bucket. It's not gonna be connected to anything. So now that we have the cold water and the hot water hose connected, we're gonna go ahead and turn on our service valves. And I'm gonna start turning on the hot service valve here first. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn the cold water valve. With these service valves, make sure they're parallel to the pipe. So you can see mine here is parallel to the pipe on a service valve. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the pump right here. You can see it, it's uh, running. It has the solution, you can use vinegar. I'm using a biodegradable solution, but you can see now the pump is taking the water from the bucket and pumping it to the cold water hose where it's going through the tank, flushing it out and then coming out the hot water hose. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this pump circulate this water through the tank for about 45 minutes. And after 45 minutes, your water might get a little murky like I have here. Uh, but you want to make sure that it runs for at least 30 to 45 minutes with the vinegar or the biodegradable solution that's been mixed in the water. So after the 45 minutes are up and you've descaled your tank, you cleaned it out, go ahead and unplug your pump and disconnect the hose. So I'm going to disconnect the cold water hose from it. And I'm going to leave these hoses in the bucket here a little bit so it can drain the rest of the water uh, on both hoses. And go ahead and turn off your service valves. Turn off the cold service valve and the hot service valve and uh, go ahead and remove the hoses. I'll remove the hot water hose here. And again, I let that drain a little bit in the bucket. Once we have removed both hoses, we're gonna go ahead and put the covers back on there. So make sure that these valve covers are on there nice and tight. And at this point, you can see that we have the cold water and the blue water uh, service valves turned off. This yellow handle right here is for the isolation valve. That's a cold water, I'll turn that on. And then the hot water, uh, service valve I'll turn that on so at this point we do have water going into the tank we're gonna go ahead and plug the tank and once we have power connected to the tank we're gonna go ahead and turn it on now what you want to do is you want to go to one of your uh, faucets and leave the hot water running for at least uh, three to five minutes and it's gonna remove all the air that was trapped uh, inside the pipes so at the end here we have the instructions again in case you missed anything but this is really easy to do and this is something that you should be doing to your tankless water heater at least once a year. It's preventative maintenance that's gonna keep it running for a long time. You really wanna descale it and get those mineral deposits uh, from the chamber from within the tank. And this should be done on a yearly basis. If you wanna use the kit that I use in this video, I do have a link on the description. All right, well, I hope this video has been informative and I hope that you learned something from it. I hope that it saved you uh, from calling a plumber and having to spend some money by doing it yourself. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know if this has helped you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.